Welcome! My name is Michelle, and in this video, I'm going to provide you with an introduction to Simulink and modeling and show you the products that you will need for your robotics competition. So what is Simulink? Simulink is a graphical modeling environment. What does that mean? Well, in any programming language like C++ or BASIC, you need to type lines of code in order to create a program. In Simulink, you will drag in graphical objects known as blocks in order to create your program. You can test this program in Simulink, and then you can have Simulink automatically generate C code and download that C code onto your robot. In Simulink, a program is called a Simulink model, and the file extension of a Simulink model is .slx, or in older versions of Simulink, it is .mdl. I mentioned that Simulink is a graphical modeling environment. So what does modeling mean? Modeling is taking something from the real world, such as a bouncing ball, and creating a computer representation of it, perhaps with the intent of seeing how it would bounce if it were to be dropped on a different planet. In our case, we want to model the brain of a robot. What will a robot do when we give it certain commands? We will create a model that defines the actions of our robot, and we can test out our robot on the computer before we actually download the program to the robot. For example, with the model, we can see if the robot will actually turn right when we tell it to turn right, rather than turn left and fall off the table. By testing the actions in the model, we save ourselves from possibly having to glue the robot back together if it does something we didn't expect. Once we are satisfied that our model works, we can generate the code that will go onto the robot. Since that program will be generated from the model we created and tested, we can feel rather confident about how the robot will act once it has been programmed. I also mentioned that you will be dragging in blocks in order to create your program. So what are Simulink blocks? Blocks are a graphical representation of the commands that you will give to Simulink. Each block performs a specific task, and blocks are connected together with lines called signals. For example, in the four blocks shown here, the add block will actually give you the summation of the values a and b. The variables a and b themselves are represented by two constant blocks, which will give you a constant value. In our case here, a is 1 and b is also 1. And then the block which says C equals A plus B is actually a display block which will display the summation result of A plus B. For your robotics program, you will need MATLAB, which is the program that Simulink runs on top of, Simulink itself, and you will need two add-ons. The first is called Simulink Coder Support Package for ARM Cortex-based VEX microcontroller, and the second is the VEX microcontroller companion app. I will now show you how to get these add-ons. To find these add-ons, first open MATLAB by double-clicking on the MATLAB icon on your desktop. This will launch the MATLAB desktop. In the top ribbon menu, click on the Add-ons button. This will launch the Add-on Explorer, where you can search for VEX. First, install the Simulant Coder Support Package for ARM Cortex-based VEX microcontroller, and then install the VEX microcontroller companion app. Make sure that after installing these add-ons, you close and restart MATLAB. Now, let's see how to launch the VEX companion app and create a new Simulink model. In the top ribbon, go to the Apps tab, and from here, click on the companion app icon. This will launch the VEX companion app. From here, you can click on the Create New Model button to create a new blank Simulink model. You can also use the companion app to click on the Open Library button to launch the VEX library. This might take a few seconds if it's the first time you launch the library. In here, you can see the VEX library has multiple sub-libraries, which you can access by double-clicking on any of the icons. This will show you all the blocks in that sub-library, and you can simply drag and drop the blocks into your Simulink model. From a sub-library to go back up to the library, click on the Up to Parent button. Let's take another look at the Companion app. There's some various example models in the Companion app which you can access by double-clicking on their name in this list. And you can view even more examples and demos by clicking on the Show Demos button. Or you can open a model that you've already created by clicking on the Update Existing Model button. If you have any questions, click on the Frequently Asked Questions button to view answers to common questions, or you can click on the Documentation button to view the documentation for the VEX support package. 
If you still have questions, click on the Need Help button for contact information. This has been an introduction to Simulink, the VEX microcontroller support package, and the VEX companion app. In the next video, linked in the description, I will show you how to model a simple algebraic equation in Simulink. For more information on MathWorks and the VEX and BEST robotics competitions, please visit the following links.